New York drill music, forged in tragedy, death, and violence on the streets of New York City. The drill scene has been plagued by aggression and unfortunate endings, until one brave man came along and made it sexy. His name is Cash Cobain, and today in the midst of his meteoric rise to fame, we will spend a day in his life, including an arena performance, first-hand insight about his blow-up, and of course, the devious late-night plans. It's gonna go out, it's gonna be a movie. I don't know how anybody else feels about it. I don't know how they feel about it. They love it. Welcome back to Set Will Free. This is a day in the life of Cash Cobain. I just got to Barclay Center. He's about to perform at this Jordan event. And yeah, I'm fucking dolo out here. What's up, guys? How we doing? Y'all want shopping? Yeah. Normally it's a lot more of me on camera, but this is gonna be a cool opportunity to show you just like my point of view, what I see when I have these type of video shoots go down. Too much sleazy shit is going on in there, you right? hundred times. Shout out my brothers. Is this like a typical day for y'all? Yeah, it's everyday stuff. Like we have something going on every day. It's when did it become like this? It got crazier now, but like Ash always had a crowd. Now everyone is you know, Hello? gravitating towards it because yeah. you know he started a new sound in New York, so like it's amazing, it's dope. Like Where's just to see his growth. You guys all from the Bronx? Me? No, not all of us. Me, Cash, and Vonte is from the Bronx. And they're from Queens, like Lenny. Call me first and see where I'm at, because you know niggas do the most. You might get fooled and buy liquor, and you might still be in Brooklyn, feel me? Set Will Free Movers Slizzy. Live in effect, my boy here. Could you tell me real quick what Slizzy is? Slizzy for us is just being being able to be us. Being able to do what we want to do with no judgment, just being free, for real. Yep. That's the best way to put it, just being free. I like that. A Slizzy could be a, a basketball player. That The young boy right there, I mean, this is what you make it. So we headed to Cash's green room where Jordan had supplied his entire team with brand new shoes. Some people were happier than others. I ain't gonna lie, I'll be, I'll be grateful for shit, but they played me on these. Just, you know? I like those. I like them too, but not for this fit. It's different greens, it's different greens. This shit not even, this shit. This shit took away. Just to the tongue Keep your old white sweater. I'll take them. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, a nigga like me not wearing those, but the Isle of Fives, the Isle of Fives though. All these New York accents are killing me, low key. You got a fun group of dudes in here. I know niggas getting high on this shit. I just did a lap. You just did a lap. I just did a lap. Low key, you're like the quietest one. Give me an address to the first group of bitches. Let's really pick them up. I'm not quiet. They talk too much. <laughs> this will be the fuck up part. Slizzy is ignorant and Cash Cobain don't even smoke. Y'all be chillin'. Cash Cobain, this nigga don't even smoke for real. Can't smoke, can't smoke. I'm Snoop, he dog. Oh, you, I'm Snoop, you dog. Yeah, I'm Snoop, you dog. Fuck it, I'm a dog. $20 something dollars more. We had a little time before the show, so I wanted to dive more closely into Linny's workflow as a co-owner of Slizzy Entertainment, Cash's label. He has the sprinter. But now I want to pick your bitches up in the spring. Oh, Had them pick up some bitches and then meet us here by eight. So pick up your shits first. Right. And then when they pick up your shits, have the sprinter come here to pick us up at eight o'clock. Cause we gonna know the difference. For sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> we gonna go out, it's gonna be a movie. We got mingles in the Bronx and then we doing engine room. But it's for the culture. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up real fast. It's for Lil Meech, bro. Fuck with us, bro. Pull up, twin. <laughs> we got pace and kick with you, twin. All right, come on, I mean, all right, bet, bet, bet. She has a legal firearm. Right. They're all in the room showering and shit. I stepped out, give them some space, and I'm going to see what's up with the actual event. And I asked somebody how old the players were, and he said these are seniors in high school. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. I was not authorized to be on that court. Fuck it. What's this moment been like the last few months? Non-stop work, non-stop, just motion. You're going up, so everything else is going up too, you know what I'm saying? I heard you've been talking with Frank Ocean. The girl pulled up on me, he fucking fuck with my music. Real, real Frank Ocean, like, it's surreal. It's surreal? Yeah. How old are you? Huh? How old are you? 26 now. Okay. Just turned 26. Nice. This shit's surreal. Yeah. From the Bronx? No. So what's this style that you're kind of like pioneering? What does it mean to like the Bronx music scene? I don't know how anybody else feels about it. Yeah. I know how all they feel about it. They love it. You play any instruments? Would you ever, I, could, would, I could play what I want to hear. Play a little key. A little bit. Shit. Yeah. A little keyboard. You know what I'm saying? I always wanted to make beats. 
I saw the little producer and stuff. I had kind of got bored with just like, with the beat stuff. My friends were rapping. I just got my mom like just brought me a bike. <laughs> so I recorded after that, playing with the auto tune and just, just stuck with it. Cash Cobain, yeah. is that Kurt Cobain? For sure. Do so you take a lot of influence from other genres? I like old shit. Just what the niggas was on back then. Like they was on some like murder. Real life. I just fuck with everybody. Mm -hmm. You nervous at all? Nah. Uh, I talk to you, so fuck with that nervous shit. Like, fuck you nervous for? You gonna perform. Like. If you weren't like involved in music, what do you think you'd do? I don't have no clue. Uh, no. <laughs> got an attitude, what you better say, so I ain't mad at you. And you tell it to what I gotta do to be having you. I pay the avenue, top five, sixty, and a savage soul. And your ass fat, know you eat your rice and your cabbage too. She ain't savage too, I'm a savage too, it's compatible. She was talking practice, had to cut her off, got her battable. I ain't chicken tender, if you find my brother, I ain't mad at you. For sure. I'ma fuck pack a sad but no mommy be poppin' that out of room. For sure. That pussy be purple wet when you win it, it feel like it's grabbing you. For sure. So the concert wrapped, and now was really time for us to start the night. Yo, Lenny, where are we going? Somewhere in the Bronx. Guys. Some beautiful ladies in it, in the spinner already, you know? They're waiting in there? Yeah, we got some beautiful ladies in the spinner right now. Give me like a Bronx slang term, translated um, for the people. Damn, I'm trying to think right now. What's up? What's the pinky thing, thing to start? Oh, that's that's Lizzie. Yeah. Yeah, that's Lizzie. That's Lizzie. I'm Word to my to mother. Think. Word to my mother. <laughs> Word to my mother. It's always interesting to me working with these artists because you see guys like Cash blowing up and becoming one of the most successful members of his community. And that results in a lot of attention, whether he wants it or not. That's Oni. She's in dunk contest. Absolutely. <laughs> For real? Yeah. yeah. In the video? You know it. No, no, she's one of the girls on the song, like oh. mentioned. Oni, you the opposite of Pony. Day in the life with the slizzies. Like TNT, I wanna have us a DVD, make it a movie. DVD, all of us got our phones on DD. Like, damn, take the free, that's the knee. Lexi, I got a BB. Now we gotta do what we do. How we built this shit. How this shit keep going. Like, you can't, you can't. Feel me? Look around. Made it to the Bronx. We're outside of Lil Meech's birthday party. Day in the life of Cash Cobain. Day in the life of Cash Cobain. As you see, this is how we come to the spots, you know? It's always like this. We always come 50 deep. It's the slizzes. I mean, what else? Can I put you on my face, love? I want your pussy now. I want it later. Hey, Kayla, got a body like you, waiter. Can I put you on my face, love? That pussy cream, we call you mashed potatoes. Hey, China, you got that good up vagina. I got a fire. I got a hit one more time. I'm a Hey, damn. Naya, you the quiet, you the shy one. I want to. After Cash had made his appearance, it was time for them to load up the sprinter and hit the next spot. And unfortunately, I was directing a music video the next day. So this is where I had to tap out. I'm out, bro. Thanks for having me today. Ladies, I got to do it. For Will? What's up, man? Yeah, Will. Who's coming here? It was Cash Cobain. And since I wasn't there to document 2 to 5 a.m., all I can offer you is my best guess of what happened next. Too, bro. I'm 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 to where you fit at, brother. Come next to me, brother. Come all the way next to me, brother. Yeah, now we're good. <laughs>